Well, praise the Lord. How you doing there, wrinkles? How you doing really good? Hello, folks. Hey, Gordon. Hey, Gordon, you know what? People are usually shocked when they find out I'm not a very good electrician. <laughs> wow, that's, that's not good. That is, that is not good. People say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. He works on your stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. We're going to be watching him real close. <laughs> well, you know, I heard about a mysterious pile of spaghetti out east somewhere, and they didn't even know where it came from, but these pictures have showed up all over the, whoops, all over the internet. Let me go back here. Look at that. And they finally did figure out what it was, was uh, a family had, a man and a woman, they both passed away, and their son came in to clean the house out. And during the pandemic, they bought all kinds of pasta. And he thought that because it was biodegradable, he'd just dump it all out in the woods. And, and he just dumped it out. And as the rain came through, it swelled, of course. And you had this huge pile of, of pasta. And yep, yep, you know, I read an article about it. You did. Yep, I did. He said, no matter the facts of the matter, the pictures still went viral. Yep, that's true. With Katchen saying things like, lead suspect is a man by the name of Al Dente. <laughs> Get it? And don't forget his partner in crime, Lynn Guini. <laughs> Others wondered if whoever did dump the food will be sent to penitentiary. <laughs> and then it wasn't known if what was left there was pasta expiration date. <laughs> oh my, that's terrible. Well, you know, a mystery. You know, the Holy Spirit is a bit of a mystery to us. But Jesus sent his Holy Spirit, and it's kind of like the wind. You know, the wind shows up. We don't know where it's coming from. We're not sure where it's going. It does pretty much what it wants to. Do you know what the wind's favorite color is? No, I don't. Blue. <laughs> Blue. Okay. B-L-E-W. Yep, yep, yep. You did that for the, for the blondes, didn't you? Yes, I did. I did do that for the blondes. You're right. So what did the wind turban say to the engineer? I don't know. I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> I had to create a retort on how wind energy is produced. Okay, it was a breeze. <laughs> did they get any better? No, sir. Okay, I didn't figure they did. Well, you know, the Holy Spirit came to help us to live like Jesus, to live within us. And what a beautiful and precious gift that God has given to us. And we have him to go alongside everything that we do. He's right there with us to guide us if we'll listen. Amen. Amen. All right. Miss Patty, would you bless the children this morning? Thank you. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for giving us your Holy Spirit. And thank you for the wind and the rain and all the gifts that you've given us, and especially these precious children that will now go to have their lessons and, and learn more about you, that they will love you and they will take you out into their schools and to their homes, and they'll tell everybody else just as simply as I love Jesus and I have him in my heart. Those are the most wonderful words that a child can say. So we just asked you to take them to their classes and let them learn more things about you and the Bible and that they will use it. And we just thank you, thank you so much for each and every one of them and their teachers. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 